The spring real estate market has been a disaster so far. And I know that's probably not what you want to hear if you're thinking of selling your house, but I think it's important to know exactly how the market is doing because it is not as rosy and peachy as uh, what you see on TikTok. In fact, I had to go back all the way to April 2001 to find an April that was actually lower than what we experienced last month. So these stats are just for April only, uh, all the way from 2001 to 2024. So in 2024, last month, we had 7,114 homes sell. And like I said before, I had to go back over 20 years to find an April that was actually lower. And that was in 2001. Now, uh, somebody is going to say, hey, Vic, what about this one? Why aren't you talking about this? Then I think obviously we all remember what happened in April 2020. So that's obviously that's why it was low. But so if you don't take that into account, if we're just looking at normal years, you have to go over uh, two decades to find something that was lower. So the market's not good. Uh, we're going to get into detailed stats in just a second, like these percentages and stuff like that. But uh, I just want to take about 20 seconds to say a big thank you because this channel just reached 5,000 subscribers, which is completely shocking to me and a pleasant surprise, obviously. So uh, thank you very much for all the support, all the comments, good, bad, anything, criticism. I'm all good. Like, um, uh, you know, I it helps me grow and learn. So thank you very much for all the support, especially the ones who have been watching since the beginning. And um, yeah, like when I started this channel, I really had no expectations and stuff. And the only reason I would ask you to subscribe was just kind of just kind of made my day. It, it wasn't for any like making money because uh, this is a screenshot from yesterday. This channel is not monetized. Uh, I'm not making any money from this because you can see here I have not applied for monetization. So that's not the purpose of this channel. So let's get into the stats. Um, but yeah, a huge thank you for all the support. So the big difference between April of this year and April of last year is right here. Uh, sales are down, but sales are not down by much. Uh, sales went from 7,500 to 7,100. So that's not bad. But the biggest difference, the key difference is this gap right here, the gap between sales and new listings and sales and active listings, you can see the gap was very small. That's why you were seeing crazy numbers like lineups outside open houses and, you know, crazy 40, 50 offers on a house. But look at the gap now. The gap between sales and new listings and sales and active listings is huge. This is the reason you don't need to be panic buying. I warned about this in February. And a lot of people laughed at me. They're like, oh, what's wrong with you? Spring is always busy. Um, it's not. It's not busy at all. There is lots of inventory, so you don't need to panic. You don't need to be bidding against 80 offers. And it makes no sense because chances are, unless you're looking for something very unique, chances are something will come up in a couple of weeks that you can wait on. So uh, that is the reason uh, you were seeing that homes are not selling as fast because there's lots of options to choose from. So do not go crazy at bidding wars. Now, if you want to look at percentages, uh, sales are down 5% compared to uh, last April. New listings are up 47% compared to last April. And the biggest difference is active listings are up 74%. That is huge. So lots of supply out there. So don't let anybody tell you there's not enough supply. There's lots of supply out there right now. And I don't see this changing by May. I think the number might go even higher in the month of May. And um, let's look at some more detailed stats because I want to cover months of inventory in this video because um, I, I think this is worth noting. And months of inventory, I'm just going to be doing the month of April. I'm not doing a 12-month running average. It's just going to be for last uh, April. So basically, it's a simple formula in case you're not familiar with this. If there are 25 homes for sale and there are only five buyers in the market, how long would it take all 25 to sell? assuming there, there are no new listings coming up and no new buyers coming up. So you just take 25 divided by five, you have five months of supply. Uh, pretty straightforward. So uh, let's see what is going on with month of supply. I'm going to be focusing on Mississauga, Brampton, Caledon, Burlington, Oakville, and Halton Hills for the West End. Then we'll cover the East End in just a second. Out of all these cities, Brampton is struggling the most. Brampton is having a tough time right now because it went from less than one month of inventory back in April 2023 to almost three months. Right now, we're sitting at 2.6 months of inventory, and that's a 
that's a big jump even if you just look at March of this year. It went from 1.7 to 2.6. Out of all these markets, the ones that is the most stable, I would say, is um, Burlington. Burlington is still somewhat favoring uh, sellers because it went from 1.1 last April to 1.2 in March of this year. And now we're sitting at 1.6. So Burlington seems to be doing relatively well. Everyone else is right around two and a half to three months of supply. And if you look at the East End, for East End, I just try to pick popular cities. Uh, hopefully your city is on here. Uh, Markham, Richmond Hill, Vaughan, Ajax, Oshawa, and Whitby. And same thing pretty much as the others. Uh, I think Peel overall is hurting a lot. But uh, if you look at Richmond Hill, it went from 1.4 months of inventory to 3.1, which is huge. And um, if you look at the East End, they seem to be doing relatively well. Ajax, Oshawa, Whitby, look at this, like they were under one month of inventory and last uh, March, I mean March 2024, they were right around one month of inventory and right now we're sitting at about 1.5, 1.6 months of inventory on average. So out of all these um, West End, East End, I think uh, Durham is doing relatively well in terms of if you're a seller. Obviously, if you're a buyer, you don't want to see that. So which region has the highest months of inventory? It's Toronto. Toronto right now has 2.9 months of inventory and Peel is not far behind. We are sitting at 2.6 and I think um, Brampton and Calden are somewhat responsible for that. And like I said, uh, Durham is still favoring the sellers because we are sitting at 1.6 for sellers. And uh, I will be doing market updates for Mississauga, Brampton, like Peel and Halton is usually what I cover in my market updates. So keep an eye for those in the next couple of days. Um, if you guys have any questions about the market or if you guys are thinking of buying or selling, you can contact me at this number. You can call or text, whatever is easier. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.